It's Sophia here, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing, I guess, the results video of my q and I'm so excited to be doing this Q&A. A whole bunch of you guys commented questions and a lot of questions. I was really not expecting that. So I just can't believe it, guys. I am so, so excited. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so the first few questions come from Take Action 321 and her first question was when did you get your first doll all right so i got my first doll in 2014 for my fourth birthday my first doll was joss but i think she's a truly me doll i don't know which truly me doll she was i'll put it on the screen because i really want to find out which truly me doll she is um but yeah she's actually truly me doll that i renamed joss in 2020. All right, so the second question she asked was how many dolls do you have as of um, now I do have seven dolls. Five of them are in the doll family and two of them are um, like friends of the doll family that I have not introduced yet even though I've had them for quite some time. The next question that she asked is, uh, do you like editing or filming better? If you asked me that question six months ago, I'd probably say filming, definitely filming. I hate editing. Editing is so hard. I just hate it. But now, I don't know, I really like editing. I don't think I like filming more than editing or editing more than filming. I think it's definitely a tie because I really enjoy doing both now and like, I don't know, I just really like filming and editing. So the next question that she asked was, how many AG doll stores have you been to? I have been to three AG stores. The first one I've been to was the Los Angeles store at the Grove that is now closed. Um, then I went to the um, Los Angeles Century City pop-up shop. I don't know if that really counts as a store, but it's like a pop-up shop. So yeah, I'll just count it. And then the last AG store that I've been to is the AG store in Dallas, Texas. So the last question that she asked was, do you play any instruments or sports? No, I do not play any instruments um, and I do not play any sports. I do like swimming, but I'm not like a professional any or anything. I just really like swimming. All right, so the next few questions come from AG Wonder Studio. And the first question that she asked was, what's your favorite color? All right, I'm gonna sound like Kira right now, but my favorite color is pink, like more specifically baby pink. That's been my favorite color all my life. I really just like all pastel colors, but I don't know, pink has always been my favorite. The second question that she asked was, what's your favorite song? I really couldn't choose what my favorite song is. I have a lot of favorite songs and 99% of those songs are probably classic Disney songs, so don't judge me on that. Um, yeah, but I wouldn't, I don't think I have a favorite song. I like, I like a lot of songs from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. That movie just has like the best songs in the world in my opinion. I love those songs. So to answer your question, I don't really have a favorite song. The third question that she asked was, uh, what's your favorite video that you've posted? I don't know, that's also a hard one too. I really couldn't choose. It would definitely be in between the Seaside Diner series and the Crystal Ball. It would definitely be in between those two. I really couldn't pick because I like both of them a lot. All right, so the next few questions come from this account. I don't exactly know how to pronounce it, so you guys can just see it on the screen. But um, their first question was, what is your dream doll? All right, I don't exactly have a dream doll. Um, for a while, I did really want Truly Me number 67, I think, or Gabriella McBride. But now that I have number 67, I don't necessarily have a dream doll. Alright, so the next few questions come from Soda Cat Plays and they asked, who was your first 18-inch doll that you ever received? So the first 18-inch doll that I ever got was Jocelyn Ingalls and most of you guys know her as Joss. Like I said earlier, um, she is a truly me doll that I renamed Joss in 2020. Alright, so the second question that they asked um, was, are you learning any languages? No, I'm not learning any languages. The fourth question that they asked was, do you like Harry Potter? I like Harry Potter. I've not read the books, but I've seen all of the movies. I think it's really nice. Like, I don't know. I really like it. I really like the collection that American Girl brought out based on Harry Potter. 
Um, but yeah, I, I'm not a super big fan of it. As you all know, I'm a Disney girl 110%, but I do like Harry Potter. Um, the last question that they asked was, do you dance? No, I do not dance. I think when I was like four or five, I really wanted to be a ballerina and I took a couple classes on it, but it never became like a super big thing. Alright, so the next couple of questions come from Doll Works, and the first question that she asked was, what do you love most about AGTube? That's a really good question, actually. Um, I think what I love about AGTube is that you get to connect with people that have the same interest as you. I guess you don't really have to be afraid about liking dolls. Some people are scared to tell people that they have dolls, and sometimes I'm like that too, but I feel like with AGTube you can be yourself and you can say, you know, I like dolls, and people just think it's normal because it's easy to. <laughs> Alright, so the last question that she asked was, uh, what is your favorite doll that you have in your collection? I do not have a favorite doll. I like all of my dolls in their own unique way. I guess that's why I got them. And I couldn't say that I like one doll. Alright, the next few questions come from Kit and Ava Productions. And the first question that she asked was, if you were given a thousand dollar gift card to American Girl, what's the first thing that you'd be adding to your cart? Alright, so American Girl, I don't know, I feel like I'm one of those people that just really likes, like, old American Girl. Honestly, like, if I had a thousand dollar gift card to American Girl, I'd probably only buy a few things. And... Like, I don't even know what those few things would be. If we're talking like retired American Girl doll items, well then there's a different story. I'd definitely get Joss's Surf Bus. I'd probably get some of the older Truly Me dolls. I don't know which ones I'd get, but just the older Truly Me dolls, I love them so much. Yeah, and I think that'd probably fill up the thousand dollars. I don't know the prices of all of those, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that would fill up the whole thousand dollars. Alright, now the second question that she asked is, what process, if you have one, do you go through when coming up with ideas for stop motions? Do you find inspiration from other AGSMs and AGSM movies from books you've read, or do you let your imagination run wild and give you the idea? So yeah, usually I get my inspiration from TV shows, movies, or real life experiences, and then I build a story off of those. Alright, so the next few questions come from this channel. I'm sorry that I do not know how to pronounce your name name um but the first question that she asked was who is your most chaotic doll without a single doubt kira bailey she is the most chaotic doll in the whole family lily may comes in a close second but i feel like kira is just so dramatic and so just chaotic all right the second question that she asked was which of your dolls is most like you that's a tough one i don't i don't think i could say that one of them is exactly like me i think they're all a part of me and the last question that she asked was what do you do when you're feeling discouraged um i think i'll just like look at my dolls because i don't know my dolls make me so happy like if i had a really bad day at school or I'm just super tired I'll just look at them and they'll just like their little smile cheers me up sometimes when I'm feeling discouraged I will watch I Love Lucy because she's so funny um if you don't know what I Love Lucy is is basically a it was basically a series starring Lucille Ball um I think in like the 1950s and 60s but she's so funny guys like when I'm feeling down I will just turn on her and she will make me laugh so hard all right so the next few questions come from I am Jazz and she asked, um, what do you not like about American Girl? Um, I don't like the painted eyelashes, I don't like the hair, like the colored hair, um, and I'm not too big on the new face molds, I don't know, just, I wish that they, that they can make the dolls look a little younger and how they used to make them. Look, I don't know, that's that's probably what I dislike about American Girl the most. And the second question that they asked was, uh, what's your favorite movie? Um, she put movies, I don't know if she meant one movie or a couple movies, but for the life of me, I could not pick my favorite movie. I have I could do like a top three. I could definitely do a top three. So number one would probably be Mary Poppins. Second would probably be Cruella. And third would probably be Frozen. But if we're going to top five, I'd probably add Princess and the Frog and Tangled. Um, so 
yeah, those are my favorite movies. Alright, so the next question comes from Knitting with Lisa, and they asked, if you had all the money in the world, what would you do with it? Alright, so that question I really couldn't answer. Like, I'm trying right now to think of an answer for that, and I don't think I could. Like, all the money in the world, that is a lot of money. And I don't know, like, I don't even know what I'd do with that amount of money. I'd probably just drive myself crazy. But yeah, sorry that I didn't really answer that question, but I could not figure out what I'd do with all the money in the world. Alright, so I think this is how you pronounce it, Carrie Mation. The first question that she asked was, who's your favorite retired doll? That's a tough one. I think Jess McConnell's really pretty, and Sage Copeland. Um, they're two very pretty retired dolls. Um, and like I said earlier, all of the other Truly Me dolls are super pretty, so um, yeah, I'd probably be in between Jess McConnell and Sage Copeland. Um, and the last question that she asked was, if you could film any place in the world, where would it be? It would probably be Disneyland. I just, I'm just like imagining my dolls next to the castle. That'd be so beautiful. Like Disneyland in a movie. That would be my dream come true. All right, the next couple of questions come from Doll Family Productions. And she asked, do you plan on making any more customs? No, I don't plan on making any more customs. Um, I don't know, just the whole idea of customizing dolls kind of like creeps me out. I'm sorry, I know a lot of people do it, but the idea creeps me out a lot. I know I did it with Katie, but I, I don't think I'd do it again. All right, the next question that she asked was, which girl of the year big ticket item do you like the most? Like I said earlier, Joss's Volkswagen Surf Bus is the end for me. I wanted that for the entire year that they were selling it. Alright, the third question that she asked was, um, if you could design the girl of the year, what would they look like and what would their personality be? Um, I'd probably make like a stop motion filmer, like, I guess like, um, Z. I don't know if she was a girl of the year or not, but she was a doll that they brought out that was a filmmaker, and I'd probably make a filmmaker doll, um, that did stop motions and was probably into Disney. She'd probably look like Emma, but with light brown hair instead of dark brown hair. If it wasn't gonna be a filmmaker, I'd probably make Joss Kendrick just all over again. Maybe with the classic mold, because I'm not a big fan of her mold, but I love the classic mold. So maybe just Joss Kendrick with the classic mold. Alright, the next couple of questions come from Bright Light AG Studios comments, and um, the first question that she asked was, do you have any pets? No, I do not have any pets. Next, she asked, how did you come up with your channel name? Alright, so the channel that inspired me to start my channel was AG for Life, but her channel name had four in it, AG for Life. So I was obsessed with her channel at the time, so I wanted to incorporate that four in my um, channel name. So I came up with All for AG. Alright, and the last question that she asked was, do you like pineapple on pizza? Do you like pineapple on pizza? Ew! Gross! No. Uh, I do. So three no's and one yes. Very interesting. I just don't really like the flavor. It just sounds nasty. Have you ever tried it? No, I don't have to. I trust my instincts. I think it's pretty good. Grody Asa, fruit should not be on a pizza. Alright, the next couple of questions come from American Girl Bliss. And the first question that she asked was, if you could get five dolls for free, who would they be? That's a tough one. It'd probably be Molly McIntyre, Jess McConnell, Sage Copeland, Leah, I don't know. And last one, maybe Joss Kendrick. They're really pretty dolls in my opinion. Alright, the second question that she asked was, what's your favorite food? Alright, I'd have to say a good old plain turkey sandwich. Those have always been my favorite ever since I was like in kindergarten. I loved turkey sandwiches. And the third question that she asked was, what's your favorite thing about being an AG tuber? Like I said earlier, I really just like the community aspect of it and just being able to see people that have the same interest as me. So the fourth question that she asked was, if you had to change your channel name, what would it be? I don't think I'd ever change my channel name, if I'm being honest. I love my channel name. I've loved it since I came up with it. Alright, the next couple of questions come from Daisy Lover 22 ag 
and the first question that she asked was what is your dream doll like i said earlier i don't have a dream doll there's a couple dolls that i think are pretty like the ones that i just named um but i don't think i have like a dream doll that i absolutely love the second question that she asked was what was your first doll um my first doll like i said earlier was jocelyn ingles and she is a truly me doll that i named joss in 2020. the fourth question was if you could buy any retired ag item slash doll slash outfit what would it be that's a tough one i would probably never have the money to get joss's surf van but if I did have the money, I'd probably get that. If I didn't have the money to get the van, I'd probably get Jess or Sage or Leah. <laughs> the fifth question that she asked was, what is your favorite color? I'm, like I said earlier, I'm a true girly girl. I'm gonna go with baby pink. It's always been my favorite color and I think it will forever be my favorite color. The last question that she asked was, do you play any sports? No, I do not play any sports. Alright, so the next question comes from AJAG Studios and um, the first question that she asked was, how many AG stores have you been to? I have been to three AG stores. The first one I've been to was the Los Angeles store at the Grove that is now closed. Um, then I went to the Los Angeles Century City pop-up shop. And then the last AG store that I've been to is the AG store in Dallas, Texas. And the last question that she asked was, what editing system do you use? I use Final Cut Pro. Um, it is a editing software made by Apple. It is definitely no iMovie. It's no cap. Cut. It is definitely next level and it took me about a whole year to finally realize what it can do and to kind of get the hang of using it. And the next couple questions come from Circus and Tea. The first question that she asked was how do you get your video ideas? Um, usually I'll get my video ideas like just regular videos. Sometimes I'll get inspired by other girls videos. But for stop motions, like I said earlier, um, I get my stories from TV shows, movies, and real life experiences. I think mostly TV shows and real life experiences because I just finished this series called Little House in the Prairie. Some of you guys might watch it um, and I got a lot of my ideas from episodes of that show and there's also a series that I watched before that also like that. It was called The Waltons and I got a lot of ideas from that series as well. Alright, so the second question that she asked was, are you planning on getting more dolls? Who? I think I'm pretty sad as far as dolls go. Um, I've got all the dolls that I really wanted. Um, yeah, I don't think I, I'm planning on getting any more dolls. Alright, so the third question is, um, favorite video on your channel? Yeah, that's a tough one. Like I said earlier, it'd probably be in between the Seaside Diner, the Crystal Ball. Alright, the fourth question that she asked was, what is your favorite AG story to tell? Maybe the time that Emma almost fell off a cliff and went into the ocean. Um, I took Emma to Mexico and I actually did a vlog on that. But I was taking some pictures of her by this rock and the rock was on a cliff. But I was like, oh, she's not going to fall down because she's sitting down. So then I thought I could stand her up because, you know, there wasn't any wind. I stood her up for just one second just to snap a picture of her. But she almost fell. She, like... If I had not caught her, she would have fallen off of this giant cliff and gone into the ocean. So, as you can see, she did survive, but um, I got so scared. I, I swear to you, my heart literally stopped beating for maybe three seconds. I got so scared because she literally almost fell off a cliff. And I think at the end of the video, I do show a little clip of that because I did catch it on camera. The last question that she asked was, um, best joke you've ever heard? Alright, I haven't heard too many jokes. But I remember a year ago, my friend told me this joke and she said, what do you call fake pasta? And I said, what? And she said, impasta. I don't think that, now that I'm saying it, I don't think that's funny, but at the time it made me laugh. The next couple of questions come from AG Doll Fan Forever. And the first question that she asked was, um, what made you want to start AGTube? All right, so I had been watching um, AG for Life and her videos really, really inspired me 
to make my channel like I loved her channel so so much and especially when I figured out how to make stop motions I really wanted to make a channel because I thought it'd be so cool to be part of this community I wasn't subscribed to like littler channels at the time I was mostly just subscribed to bigger channels like Mixy Pixie 7 or Age for Life or Totally Rudy really wanted to start my channel because I thought it'd be so cool to have a channel just like those people that I idolized the next question that she asked was do you remember the first age YouTube video that you watched um the first age YouTube video that I watched was a DIY by Tony Rudy and it was how to make an American Girl doll phone because I really wanted to make a phone for my doll so I thought maybe YouTube has something but the first stop motion I watched I think was the allergic reaction by Basil Mentos I thought that that was the best stop motion I'd ever seen I couldn't even tell that it was stop motion I was literally so impressed by the technique and just everything and the last question that she asked was what's your favorite video you've made Made. I don't really know like I've been saying I don't really have a favorite video I love all my videos so so much like even my first one I, I watch my first video over and over again all the time alright the next couple of questions come from Naomi Ruby 12 and she asked what made you want to start your channel like I said um the channel AG for life made me want to start it and like I said earlier I thought it'd be so cool to be part of the YouTube community even though I didn't know that there were so many smaller channels next she asked Asked, um, when did you first hear about American Girls? I didn't actually hear about American Girl dolls. My great aunt got me my first doll for my fourth birthday. I didn't even know that the brand existed. It's just that she lived close to the um, Los Angeles AG store, so she thought it'd be a good idea to get me one of the dolls for my birthday, but I was four and I was like, I don't even know what this doll is. I thought she was really cute because she looked like me and I never had a doll that looked like me, but um, for a long time she just sat in the attic. But yeah, I didn't exactly hear about AG dolls, I just got my first doll and then I found her in the attic a lot of years later and yeah, then I just got really interested in making stuff for her. Alright, the next question that she asked was, did you ever want to give up your channel? Yeah, no, I don't think I've ever thought of giving up this channel, even for a second. Like, I love it so much. Channel, like, I honestly don't know where I'd be if I didn't have my dolls in my channel. Alright, so the next question that she asked was, what video are you most proud of? Um, I think I'm most proud of the crystal ball because, not saying that that'd be my favorite video, but I'm really proud of it because it took over two months um, to make and I, w I just really liked how it turned out. The next question is kind of random, but um, she asked, have you ever touched a squirrel? I don't know why I asked that. Um, all right, I have attempted many times to touch a squirrel, but no, my missions have never succeeded and I've never touched a squirrel. All right, the next question that she asked was, um, who is your inspiration on each YouTube other than Mixie Pixie 7? Yes, I know I make it very clear that I love um, Mixie Pixie 7. So, um, like I said earlier, my main inspiration was AG for Life. Um, I didn't really discover Mixie Pixie 7 until after I started my channel um, and after I learned how to make stop motions. But yeah, my main inspiration was AG for Life. Alright, the next couple of questions come from Our American Girl, and the first question that she asked was, um, other hobbies outside of AGTube? No, I do not have any other hobbies besides AGTube. Like I said earlier, AGTube is my life. <laughs> next question is, where did you go on your trip? I went to the city of Irvine, which is next to Orange County in California, which is where Disneyland is. So the next question that she asked is, what is my favorite food? Alright, I'd have to say a good old plain turkey sandwich. Those have always been my favorite ever since I was like in kindergarten. I loved turkey sandwiches. The next question that she asked, favorite ride at Disneyland? Yes, finally a question that involves Disney. Um, so I really like um, Rise of the Resistance, but I also really like Thunder Mountain. The next question that she asked is, how big is your dollhouse? You know, I don't know, I'm, I've never measured it, so I couldn't really say. It's definitely taller than me, 
Yeah, I think if you go to maybe my dollhouse tour, my studio tour, you'll kind of get the gist of how big it is. Alright, the next question that she asked was, how many AG stores have you been to? I have been to three AG stores. The first one I've been to was the Los Angeles store at the Grove that is now closed. Um, then I went to the um, Los Angeles Century City pop-up shop. And then the last AG store that I've been to is the AG store in Dallas, Texas. And the last question that she asked was, favorite a my favorite AG purchase? All the dolls that I got from my American Girl are probably my favorite purchases. Alright, so this is the last few questions, guys. I know this video is probably getting so, so long, and I'm so sorry about that. Um, just we had a lot of questions, like I said. But the last few questions come from AG Craziness, and she asked, If animals could talk, which one would be the rudest? That's a very interesting question. Um... I don't know, maybe a porcupine. Those always seem very suspicious to me. I feel like they'd be pretty rude if you could talk. If they could talk, they'd be like, bleh. <laughs> they'd probably be kind of rude. And the last question that she asked was thoughts on Girl of the Year 2023. All right, so I am not a big fan of the Murray Grace mold. So just to start off with that, I don't like her face mold. Um, her collection just doesn't get me. I'm more of a surfer girl, so I loved Joss's whole collection. Like, she has very bright colors in her collection, and I'm not a big fan of that. I'm more of a pastel colored person. She's just really not my cup of tea. So that is my 2023 Q&A. I know this is such a long video, guys, and I'm so sorry. My camera battery is literally running out because I've been filming for like an hour right now. Um, but thank you guys so, so much for all of the questions that you asked. I really can't explain to you guys how grateful I am about all of this. And I really liked it because you guys got to know a little bit more about the person behind the camera. Yeah, but thank you guys so much. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.